let's get right into it. Number 10. The Miracle of the Sun at Fatima Imagine being in a crowd of 70,000 people, standing in the pouring rain, when suddenly the sun decides to put on the wildest light show in history. This actually happened in Portugal, 1917. According to witnesses, the sun started dancing in the sky. It zigzagged. It spun. It changed colors faster than a mood ring in a sauna. Then the sun appeared to break free from its spot and plunge toward Earth. This wasn't just a few people seeing things. We're talking about 70,000 witnesses, including scientists and journalists, who showed up specifically to debunk this whole thing. But here's where it gets even more bizarre. Everyone's clothes were soaking wet from the rain. But after this cosmic dance party, everything was bone dry. Scientists have tried explaining it with everything from mass hysteria to weird weather phenomena. But mass hysteria doesn't usually dry your clothes. This is one of those rare cases where science just throws up its hands and says, Yeah, we've got nothing. Number 9. The Betts Mystery Sphere Imagine finding a perfectly smooth metal ball while walking around your property. Well, that's what the Betts family thought in 1974 when they found this weird sphere in Florida. But then things got weird. This 22-pound stainless steel ball started doing things that metal balls definitely shouldn't do, like rolling around the house by itself. It would literally follow people around like some kind of metallic puppy. When the family's son played guitar near it, the sphere would start humming and vibrating. Imagine trying to practice guitar and having a 22-pound metal ball as your biggest groupie. The Navy got involved and checked it out. They said it's just a steel ball, probably from some industrial machine. That's like calling the Mona Lisa just some old paint. Because last time I checked, regular stainless steel doesn't roll around your house like a lost puppy or start jamming to guitar solos. The sphere eventually disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where it is now. Maybe it rolled away to join a rock band. Number 8. The Aluminum Wedge of Ayud. Imagine digging through dirt in Romania and finding something that shouldn't exist. That's exactly what happened in 1974 when workers found a weird metal wedge buried next to mastodon bones. Now, mastodons went extinct about 20,000 years ago, but this wedge was made of aluminum. Pure aluminum wasn't even invented until the 1800s, so finding it next to Ice Age bones is like finding an iPhone in a dinosaur nest. The wedge was buried 35 feet deep alongside these ancient bones. Scientists tested it and found it was aircraft-grade aluminum alloy, the kind we use to build planes today. The more boring explanation is that it's probably just part of an old excavator that got mixed in with the bones. But that doesn't explain how modern aluminum ended up that deep underground next to Ice Age bones. The wedge now sits in a museum in Romania, still confusing everyone who looks at it. Number 7. The Incombustible Man of the 1800s Imagine being able to juggle red-hot coals like they're tennis balls. That's exactly what Daniel Douglas Home did back in the 1860s. This guy would casually pick up burning coals that were hot enough to melt metal, and he'd do it with his bare hands, in front of scientists, royalty, and some of the smartest people of his time. These weren't just quick touches either. He'd hold these scorching coals long enough for people to verify they were actually burning hot. The coals were hitting temperatures that would melt lead. His hands never got burned, not even a blister. Scientists tried everything to figure out how he did it. They checked for secret protective creams. There weren't any. They looked for hidden protective gear. He wasn't wearing any. Even the skeptics who came to expose him left scratching their heads. After years of testing, the scientific community basically threw up their hands and said they had nothing. When he died in 1886, he took his secret to the grave. Number 6. The Carolina Bays Fly over the U.S. Atlantic coast and you'll see something bizarre. 500,000 perfect oval-shaped holes in the ground. These are the Carolina Bays, over 500,000 perfectly elliptical depressions scattered across the land from Florida to New Jersey. And they're all pointing in the same direction. It's like someone took a giant cookie cutter and stamped out identical shapes across multiple states. Scientists have been scratching their heads over these things for decades. Some think it was a massive meteor shower that created them. Imagine a cosmic game of darts where Earth was the dartboard. But other scientists think it was just wind and water doing their thing. They think ancient lakes got shaped by strong winds, kind of like when you blow across your coffee and create those little ripples. After years of research and debate, scientists basically threw up their hands and said, yeah, we give up. It's like Mother Nature left us a half million identical puzzles just to mess with our heads, and she's not telling anyone the answer key. Number 5. The Ever-Burning Lamps of the Ancients Imagine breaking into an ancient tomb that's been sealed for over a thousand years. 
You're expecting the usual stuff, some crusty old bones, maybe some gold if you're lucky, but instead, you find something impossible. A lamp that's still burning. These lamps kept popping up all over the ancient world. Over in Athens, they had this golden lamp in Minerva's temple that burned for a whole year without needing a refill. Modern scientists are scratching their heads trying to figure this out. Fire needs fuel, oxygen, and heat. That's just how it works. But these ancient lamps were basically ignoring the laws of physics. From India's temples with their eternal blue flames to similar stories in Armenia and China, these impossible lamps were everywhere. It's like the ancient world had their own version of Wi-Fi, except instead of internet, they had eternal fire. And nobody today can figure out how they did it. Number 4. The Potomsky Crater Geologist Vadim Kolpakov was hiking through remote Siberian wilderness in 1949. Then he stumbled upon what looked like a giant alien nest, just sitting there in the middle of nowhere. This thing is huge, 160 meters wide and 40 meters tall. It's like Mother Nature decided to build a stadium, got bored halfway through, and left it there. The locals call it the Fire Eagle's Nest, but this thing is only about 300 years old. That's like yesterday in geological terms. Now you might think it's just a meteor crater. Nope, must be a volcano then. Wrong again. It's not a meteor crater because there's no meteorite bits anywhere. It's not a volcano because there's no volcanic rock. Scientists have thrown every theory they can think of at this mystery, but none of these explanations quite fit. The crater just sits there in the wilderness, looking like a giant cosmic doorbell, daring us to figure out what rang it. Number 3. The Klerksdorp Spheres South African miners made a discovery that makes no sense. Perfectly round metal balls buried in rock. Now here's the kicker. These balls are 3 billion years old. These mysterious objects are called the Klerksdorp Spheres. They look like someone took a bunch of chrome bowling balls and buried them deep underground. Some of them even have perfect grooves carved around them, like they were made in a factory. But these spheres are older than dinosaurs. They're older than plants. They're even older than most of the oxygen in our atmosphere. Scientists say they're natural formations, created when mineral-rich water seeped through volcanic ash. But look at these things. They're so perfect they make bowling balls look wonky. Some of these spheres have three parallel grooves carved around their center. It's like finding a prehistoric iPhone. Scientists call them concretions. Fancy geology speak for rocks that formed weird. So these things just sit in museums looking impossibly perfect while scientists scratch their heads. Number 2. The Thule Papyrus. Picture this. You're an ancient Egyptian scribe just chilling and writing your usual boring stuff about taxes and grain storage. Then suddenly, the sky lights up with what you describe as fiery disks. This is exactly what happened according to the Thule Papyrus, a mysterious document from around 1480 BC. The text describes these weird flying objects showing up during the reign of Pharaoh Thutmose III. These things were described as circles of fire, with no head, basically flying donuts made of flame. According to the text, these discs were letting out some seriously nasty smells from their mouths. And then things got really weird. Fish and birds started falling from the sky. Now, you might be thinking, cool story, where's this papyrus now? Well, that's the fun part. It vanished. The only evidence we have is a translation from the 1950s, when some Italian researcher claimed to have seen it in the Vatican museums. Without the original papyrus, we can't carbon date it, analyze the ink, or do any of that CSI stuff. It's like trying to prove your friend's girlfriend from Canada exists when all you have is a badly drawn sketch. Number 1. The Michigan Copper Puzzle Imagine finding out that ancient people mined enough copper to build 76 Statues of Liberty, and then it just disappeared. That's exactly what happened in Michigan between 7,000 and 3,000 years ago. These ancient miners dug thousands of pits across Michigan's Upper Peninsula, pulling out about 500 million pounds of pure copper. Some pieces were so big, they weighed more than an elephant, but all that copper just vanished into thin air. Archaeologists can't find any trace of where all this copper went. It's like someone ordered a massive copper takeout and never left a receipt. Some think ancient sailors might have shown up and hauled it all away. But we haven't found any shipwrecks, no docks, not even an ancient sailor's lost sandal. At some mining sites, it looks like everyone just dropped their tools and ran. We may never know where all this copper went. But somebody out there pulled off the biggest metal heist in prehistoric history. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.